Now this evening we're doing something that we've never done before, which is to show some work that we're doing exploring how surgeons learn and how surgeons teach. We've done that by filming some actual operations, keyhole surgery operations. And here what we're doing is to show that film and kind of reenact it. The project is called Digital Technologies in the Operating Theatre. Um, and the project has two aims really. One is to look at how digital technologies shape uh, surgical work. The other part looks at how we can use digital technologies um, to actually address substantive issues because a lot of these technologies allow you to record what happens in operating theatres. Jeff's very interesting because he's a social scientist. Until he started working with me he'd never been into an operating theatre. And so he's using ethnographic approaches and he's um, been using techniques developed outside surgery to look in great detail at what happens during operations. The good thing about video is that you can replay it uh, over and over again uh, and you can also um, transcribe it and by that we mean you can try and map exactly what kinds of movements people are making with their instruments and exactly what it is that people say and you can map all that onto a timeline so that you can see whether they are in sync and how they respond to one another. You can look at the interaction between the two. I've spent three years doing a PhD in surgical education research and part of that was collaborative work with Jeff which was very interesting because that's quite a, a, a good way of going about it is to gather your, your video data and then post hoc analyse it and it is useful to have uh, perhaps an alternative viewpoint upon that as well. The trainees that are with me for one year we get to know each other very well and something very important happens during that. We anticipate each other's moves um, education in surgery has been going on since surgery has been around, but I think you know, it's only really been in the last few years that we've actually dedicated resources to actually investigating how we might do that better. Uh, we know it's a fundamental aspect of acquiring the skills, uh, and it's not just about the technical skills, but it's about the non-technical decision-making skills that go hand in hand with, with surgery as well. The European Working Time Directive has led to um, you know, vastly diminished um, hours of training. Um, there's been a massive thrust towards learning away from the operating theatre, for example in simulation. But there are still things that really can only be learnt in the operating theatre itself. And I suppose a lot of this is looking at how do, how do those processes transpire and how can we optimise learning in those things. Like what are really good teaching practices and how can we make best use of, of the time that we have available in surgical training. If the idea is that we only have limited time now to learn by doing, uh, that learning by doing better be good. Uh, and, and you can only really begin to think about how it might be improved if you've got a good picture of, of, of what's currently being done. Oh, I think it was wonderful putting into dialogue what is medical science, medical practice, the general public like me. They were talking about this special relationship between the, the trainee and the consultant and to actually capture that seems like a very good way to, to continue that education forward so that it doesn't get lost in those sort of precious moments behind doors in the operating theatre. Thank you very much.